and good morning. Today we are talking about a topic that I think everyone feels at one point or another, and that is the reality that we can all get overwhelmed. So we'll take a deep breath and just relax for a few moments. And let's talk about some of the things that we can do when we're overwhelmed. One of the things that is so important during this virus time is to get help if you need it. If you happen to be one of those people who, uh, let's say you're a woman who has your own job and you're working at a computer and your husband is home working from home and your children are home going to school virtually and you still have the house to keep straight as much activity is there and you still have the meals to cook and only after the children are in bed can you sit down for a moment and relax and you feel completely overwhelmed. So one of the things I tell my clients, and I've had this happen a few times during the virus, is you may have to lower your standards and you may have to decide who you're going to disappoint first. In other words, you may not be able to get it all done. But one of the ways that you can get more of it done than you would ever dream of is if you can develop the process of flowing. Now, many of you don't know what that feels like to flow, but it's when one thing falls right after another in perfect timing. And it usually comes from involving your higher consciousness, or some people would say their higher power. And somehow tuning in to that part of yourself, asking that part of yourself to be involved. And that may be sounding strange to some of you, but for most of you, I think that you know what I'm talking about. In fact, an example I gave in my article was you're feeling very much like you'd like a cup of coffee and all of a sudden your husband walks in and says, could you use a cup of coffee? And you think, what a coincidence. And other people say, I don't believe in coincidences. And so those are the kinds of things that happen when you are flowing. So today, what I would like to do is just encourage you to realize that you may have to balance yourself your physical, your mental, your emotional, your intellectual, and your spiritual self in order to accomplish what you need to accomplish during this COVID time. In fact, the harsh truth of the uh, overwhelmed feeling is that it's not likely to end soon. Just as we feel that the virus may be here to stay for a while, as much as we'd like to have a vaccine tomorrow, today, yesterday, we may not get that quite yet. And it seems that much longer than we ever dreamed it would already be going on, that it may continue to go on and that many of us will continue to work from home. For some of us, that's very good. I enjoy working from home. I enjoy doing virtual. I enjoy doing what I'm doing now. But I will tell you that seeing clients and getting my articles and videos together each week can be overwhelming at times for me, especially when I have a lot else going on. So just remember that if this is happening to you, you are not alone, that with all of us, we are subject to this virus causing extra stress, extra anxiety, and causing us to feel overwhelmed. Next week, I'll have another topic. <laughs>